Okay, let's talk about the Praxis Algebra 1 exam and what it takes to pass this exam in 2020. So before we get started, I just want to uh, tell you right off the bat, there is nothing new that I know of in 2020 versus 2019 or maybe even 2021 that has changed uh, uh, dramatically about uh, with respect to the Praxis Algebra 1 exam. Uh, so the title, I don't want to be misleading here, but you know, it's a catchy way to uh, grab your attention in 2020 as a lot of um, uh, folks out there, a lot of teachers are maybe looking to see if something has changed. So to my knowledge, um, uh, nothing in particular has changed so far. Uh, but when it comes to, to the Praxis and just getting your teacher certification to teach Algebra 1, one thing is guaranteed not to change and that is you need to know algebra one very well right so what i want to talk about in this video is just give you some um uh, some of my perspectives as a math teacher i taught uh, middle school math high school math uh, even some college mathematics but uh, algebra one was one of my favorite courses to teach and i think also through the years that i've come to uh, at least my own personal belief, all math courses are important, but Algebra 1 is almost, you know, I hate to say it, but maybe even the most important, one of the most critical uh, courses for students to take because it really, uh, you know, just kind of take a look at a quick uh, chart here. So here you have sixth grade math, seventh grade math, eighth grade math, it's all very important. Ninth grade math here, typically in high school, is when most people will be taking Algebra 1. Not, yeah, there's, of course, exceptions. Some uh, students, if they're on an accelerated track, will take an eighth grade. Um, uh, if they're on a slower track, they might take a, a, a longer version of algebra um, in high school. But in general, most high school freshmen are in an Algebra 1 class. And how well they do here really sets the tone uh, on what track they're going to be on with their with the rest of their math courses in high school because I've taught all these different courses and you can almost invariably go back to Algebra 1 to see if they did they get a strong foundation so you know um, I think your uh, uh, one of your missions as a teacher uh, when you teach Algebra 1 is to obviously know the topic but also put it in perspective and in terms of its importance if you can communicate that to your students and to uh, you know the parents of your students I think that'll give you more leverage as a, as a teacher for them to pay attention of course if you teach high school or any middle school and high school you know that keeping the attention of your students is a big challenge in general right so um, but anyways let's get into this praxis exam and I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about what I think um, you want how you want to kind of approach studying for the praxis because a praxis algebra one exam to give you the best shot at it now a little bit uh, before we really get going here is if you're looking for a great uh, uh, study program, I actually have a Praxis Algebra 1 math uh, test prep course, extremely comprehensive. I think you'd be really uh, happy to use this. I'll leave the link in the description of this video if you want to check it out. But um, with that being said, let's take a look at some of the things uh, they want to be thinking about when you're studying for this exam. So I would say the first thing that you want to keep in mind if you're going to uh, try to get your Algebra 1 certification is think of this as it's more than just an exam okay it's more than uh, passing a test okay say so passing an exam and by the way I want to give you the professional respect that you uh, deserve obviously you're um, if you're going for your Algebra 1 certification you're a teacher very well very could very well could be a, an experienced teacher so you're definitely a professional so what I want to you know certainly not try to patronize you but if you're new to teaching mathematics okay at the middle school or high school level you know if you think of the praxis algebra one, algebra one exam here is just more than just hey listen I need to get a passing score so I can you know do this job or teach this class I think that's not a good way of thinking about it okay when you study for, uh, or when you teach algebra one you need to you know, like really be a master of algebra algebra one okay each course that I've studied uh, you know or taught through the years there was always those super experienced teachers that had like 25 30 years of experience they're just like amazing because they taught these courses for so long they got better and better and just really knew so much more than just the material so 
yeah, you you know, you, you could be like, okay, I know algebra. You know, I can find the slope of a line. I could uh, solve a quadratic equation. I could deal with square roots. And, you know, you probably already know a pretty good amount of algebra already. That's not that's not what's going to make you a great Algebra 1 teacher, okay? You need, you need to be a master of Algebra 1. And if you think about it in that way, yeah, you might get your certification to uh, to start teaching Algebra 1, but to truly be like great at at you know the subject you want to master it so when you approach studying these topics really try to get into you know, all these areas of algebra one so the second thing I would say is don't like go beyond all right I'm kinda of like using my little scribble scratch here apologize I'm a math teacher not the clearest writer but I'm just kinda of writing this down don't go beyond algebra one as well so what do I mean by that just focus on algebra one concepts no need to get into more advanced math say in algebra two things that are typically not going to be in the algebra one course like logarithms for sure or um, you know finding the inverse of a matrix and those type of things don't get into all that that's that's a, a separate uh, certification so really make sure you know what's on the algebra one um, exam and focus in on this one area of, of uh, you know of study okay because algebra one is quite different than algebra two now in from my experience a good way to look at just the algebra sequences so let's say take a look at pre-algebra Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 typically right when a student takes pre-algebra when you when you start teaching Algebra 1 it's kind of essentially like a review of pre-algebra right so it's a review of pre-algebra and then you learn more stuff Algebra 2 very similar right you kind of review Algebra 1 a lot of it then you build on a new stuff okay so this is like the whole entire algebra sequence starting from middle school through high school okay but just focus in which is typically going to be on Algebra uh, 1, right? So, um, you know, don't go into more advanced areas because that's just going to be a distraction for the things you want to master in Algebra 1. So you might be teaching Algebra 1, let's say, at the middle school level, right? So your de math department is just going to you'll probably be teaching the highest level math course at the middle school. But if you're teaching at a high school, you know, you're going to be with other teachers there that are going to be teaching calculus or AP statistics or, or whatnot, you know, and it's easy to kind of like, you know, say, hey, am I going to be teaching, you know, this class or that class or whatnot. Just take these certifications one at a time. And by the way, I know what I'm speaking about in terms of the praxis uh, exams. I've taken them myself. They're pretty challenging. OK, so if you haven't taken a uh, praxis math uh, exam before, you know, you need to put the time and effort in to really get ready. Uh, the last thing I would leave you with um, in terms of the Algebra 1 course itself, and it, it's a great course, okay? It's a great level of math to teach, okay? A great level of math. I, I enjoyed uh, teaching all math classes, okay, to the advanced, to the basic. So they're all good in their own different way. But I think Algebra 1 is, is especially unique because if you can really, like, make an impact on... The, that student at the ninth grade level or at the eighth grade level and they you know you get them to enjoy math or get them to really understand and get a strong algebra one foundation that typically will really truly help a lot of students gain momentum to really do well in their college prep courses which is going to in turn help them get good SAT scores AT, ACT scores good GPA build their confidence up but if they start having problems here in algebra one almost invariably they're going to just kind of like you know bounce around in high school with their mathematics okay so you really do have a big role it's a pivotal role you know um at this level because it's a transitionary type of level you're going from middle school into high school and you're going to be that connector uh teacher that's going to be their first impression of kind of cut their really truly like college prep uh math uh classes so it's an important uh, course. I again, I think it's especially important. If I had to, you know, state what I think is uh, the most important math course, they're all important again. But I think Algebra One is right up there at the very top. Okay, it plays a specific role, and you want to be a master of it. So, anyways, um, 
again, you know, I, you're already a professional. I don't have to tell you how to study because you clearly, you know, are, are a teacher. You already know how to do that. But get yourself into a good program of study and really commit to mastering this topic if you're going to teach it. Okay, and I think that's super exciting. Um, again, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video to my uh, Praxis Algebra 1 prep course. Uh, a lot of success with it. Very comprehensive. I think it will uh, help you out tremendously. Also, um, I have hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel. A lot of algebra videos that, you know, if you like my teaching style, you can definitely go back and review a lot of topics in algebra. So hopefully you'll consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, I'd definitely appreciate it. Thumbs up and leave us some feedback. Um, what, what you know has uh, got your interest in teaching algebra one are you going to go beyond beyond uh, this level of math are you a middle school teacher or high school teacher if you have any questions or concerns I try to read as many comments as I can I, I do get a lot of comments on my videos which I'm extremely appreciative about but that's the only way I kind of um, know how I'm doing it gives me ideas for future videos to help you out but with that being said um, as a fellow teacher, you know, we need great teachers out there. So, you know, I wish you uh, nothing but the best. Thank you for your time and have a great day.